So I'm on my porch and I thought I would talk about something that I haven't done in a long time and it's the glue on nails. I've been watching a few videos um, about the glue on nails through the COVID, you know, because it's harder to get to the um, nail salon. Now they're open, but you know what? I should have done this a long time ago. I remember wearing uh, glue on nails when I was like 16 and they used to come off all the time. But these are by Kiss and they're the nude series that was recommended to me by uh, Tiffany D and Lisa D1. And I love them. They've been on a week already. Now I have to say, I, you have to learn the hard way. These are the short version. My thumb kept on popping off and because I was afraid to use too much glue. But now I went back on uh, Tiffany's uh, video about her nails and you have to use a lot of glue. And I was pressing the daylights out of my nails. So I learned just to press lightly for a few seconds and now, now they're good. So I think I'll be doing that from now on. I still love my nail technician, but this is easier on the nails and it is cheaper too, right? And if it pops off, you just, if you find it, if you're lucky to find it, you just glue it right back on. I've lost one of them in the car once, but that's okay. So I think I'm going to buy another set, maybe the longer ones, maybe the the uh, the almond shape ones, and maybe another set of the uh, square. And I'm going to show you how I put them on. So I told you I was going to show you how I did my fake nails. These are by Kiss, and they're the nude series, and these are the shorter ones. They have the little tabs on them. So what I did was I, I've had these on for two weeks, and they didn't come off. So I want to refresh them because I noticed underneath, you know, it was getting a bit dirty. So I took them all off, I prepared my nails. Let me show you how I did it. See, I, I kind of, I kind of buffed them. And here's the one with a nail on it. So the trick is to put a lot of glue on the nail and your nail. And like Tiffany and Lisa say, do not press too hard. If you press too hard, the glue will come out the sides. So if you just press lightly, for a few seconds it's really good but make sure you use a lot of glue and I like this um, these nude ones because they're thinner in the cuticle so you can push it right in and so this is what it looks like grotesque nails um, with a little bit of glue residue on them and look at these cuticles isn't that gross but I cut them so it always looks worse on on camera until you get the cuticle oil and stuff so I'm going to continue putting the nails on and I will show you. So I'm going to have to put my lovely glasses on so that I can see properly. I'm outside. I thought that was a good light to do this in so I can see it better. So my thumbnail's on already. So now the next one I'm going to do the middle. I'm going to do this finger, <laughs> that finger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the glue and I'm going to put it on my finger here. So a lot of glue. Try to squeeze as much as you can without it getting really gross. Okay, and then, oh my God. Then the nail, you sort of choose accordingly to your, you fit them to your nail. So here's the nail inside and I'm gonna put a lot of glue in here. Let me see. Cause this is the second time I've used them. They're a bit rigid inside. You know why I'm using them again? It's cause I can't find any nails. They're all sold out in the Walmarts where I live. So I thought this is better than nothing. So of course the tabs are gone because I used them the first time. So, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to push it in the cuticle, push down, and then just press it for a few seconds. It's nice and cool here. It's still nice. It's not, it's not cold, but it's cool or breezy. So it's kind of a nice change from the heat. Okay, so there you go. There's my nail. I know you guys have been writing me and asking me where I've been. I haven't had anything to really talk about. I haven't been going shopping. I've got some headaches, family headaches here. <laughs> so I've not been in the mood to, to do a video, but I'll get there again. Okay, so the next nail, I'm gonna do this one. Again, I'm going to put the glue on my nail, my original nail. 
you can't really squeeze it. Not a lot comes out, so you've got to just kind of dab it. Okay, and then the fake nail. You know what I did last time? I put it upside down, so I had the, the cuticle part at the end of my nail and the nail like opposite of what you're supposed to do. And I was wondering if something looks weird. Now, when I first started putting them on, I didn't put enough glue, so they popped off a couple of times. You gotta watch it doesn't stick to your own skin. So try to squish it into the cuticle and then press down a few seconds. I usually count to 10. And remember not to press too hard because then it's gonna squeeze the, the glue out the sides. I mean, I used to wear these when I was like in my teens because I wanted longer nails and they, you know, they weren't very comfortable, but these are comfortable. I didn't even notice that I had them on. I've been, they've been on for two weeks. I've been on a little weekend holiday and they stayed on. Where are you? on. I mean, I would have done a better job. If I wasn't going to put nail polish on them, I would have done a better job and I would have used new ones. But because I put nail polish on them, you know, they're good. And I really like this color and I can't get it anymore. I can't find it. It's by uh, China Glaze and it's called Neon and on, or Neon and on and on. And it's a really, really vibrant, you know, corally pink color. So I've been putting that on. I added a little nail polish thinner to this one. So I'm gonna just paint my nails. What else do I do? What do I do best? Paint my nails. Yeah, I guess a lot of you gals out there, that you're in your pastime, right? Paint the nails. I had to cut my original nail because they were getting too long. So these are shorter than my real nails. So they're done. More of a short sports length, right? Anyway, I love them. I think it's the greatest thing I, I didn't invent it, but the greatest thing that I, I've done through this pandemic, <laughs> other than make banana bread. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I have to let them dry and I have to put some clear on them. That's it for my nail tutorial. <laughs> and I'll be back. I will be back soon. I have to get the spirit back. I have to get the motivation back and I have to think of some topics. Okay, so I'm glad you joined me for that short little nail video and uh, that's it, folks. This is the uh, clear Insta-Dry by Sally Hansen that I use and it's great. It's my favorite. I've been using it for years. It's got a very nice, um, kind of thicker brush at the end, bristles. So this is the finished product and they look good. To me, they look great. They look like, well, more like acrylic nails. I don't think they look like totally your real nails, but pretty close to it. So I hope you like that. See you later.